understanding differences is something that we all learn throughout our lives. But one MSU assistant professor has made it their mission to help ensure that people who are transgender and non-binary get the same level of medical care as everyone else. And the results of that effort has helped more people find the joy in our differences. A lot of my research recently has been interviewing medical providers who work with transgender people um, and thinking about the uncertainty that they experience, the challenges they face. Steph Schuster is an assistant professor of sociology at Michigan State University. Schuster is transgender and identifies as non-binary. Part of my work is thinking through how do medical providers make sense of working with a group of people that they just don't have a lot of expertise and experience with. The work started when Steph moved to Iowa in 2007. They learned quickly that there weren't a lot of doctors who were willing to work with trans people. So I decided I wanted to go out and start interviewing providers to see if that was something that was particular to Iowa City or if that was something that a lot of providers felt. After interviewing about 25 medical providers across the country, they realized this wasn't just an Iowa thing. And it ended up being that a lot of providers just don't feel like they have the, the proper training and tools um, to really work with patients in the way that they're comfortable with and the way that they want to. Some of them talk about, you know, the, the first time a trans patient came into their clinic and the way that they describe that is very much uh, this patient is so different, so outside the realm of my comfort that I don't know what to do. Steph found that most people wanted to have the conversation and wanted to learn more. And Schuster was happy to provide the platform to people who wanted to find the joy in difference. I decided to end those interviews by asking them, what do you find joyful about working with trans people or in trans medicine. Providers begin reflecting on is how, yes, working with trans people can sometimes be difficult because they're not trained in how to do it. But once they really start... Difference becomes acceptance and understanding. It's almost like once you create vulnerability for yourself a little bit, you can be open to the possibility, not only that you were wrong, <laughs> but um, that trans people are not some weird offbeat outlier. Schuster says the medical providers they interviewed are doing more to create a better relationship with not just their trans patients, but all of their patients, starting by spending more time with them to get to know them better. Schuster has published a book based on what they found in their interviews. You can find a link to the book in this article on fox47news.com. For now, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Yasmin Ludi, Fox 47 News.